Welcome to the online registration video where we will show you how to register as a first-time student at UKZN. Open your browser and go to www.ukzn.ac.za. This is UKZN's homepage. Click on the Registration 2021 button. Scroll down and select the college you wish to register with. Read through the information provided by the college regarding registration. Scroll down to find the heading. Follow these steps to register online. This will take you to Student Central, the official UKZN student portal. Before we get started, please do not use the backwards arrow in your browser. If you wish to go back, please use the buttons within the program. Please add your student number and select Proceed. This will take you to Student Eye Enabler. On the left panel, click on UKZN Web Registration. This will drop down and give you buttons you need to follow sequentially. Click on View Online Registration Process. This will present a guide as to how to register. If you get stuck, return to this document. Next, select Rules and Regulations. You are required to read through this document and select Accept at the end of it. You will not be allowed to proceed with registration if this has not been accepted. Then select Address Validation. The red asterisk indicates mandatory fields that you need to fill in. You may update your postal and study address here and select Save. Select Personal Contact Details. Please check that your cell phone number and email address is correct as these will be the main form of communication between the university and you. Click on New Registration. If you have multiple possible qualifications available to you, you will need to select the most appropriate one. Ensure that the qualification displayed is correct. Select your major if required and your employment status. Please note that selecting employed means you are permanently employed. Click Save and Continue. Now you will see all the modules that are available to you. Please note that feedback may not be immediate. You will receive an email informing you that you have feedback. Please go back into the registration screen and check. Underneath your name and student number, please make sure all your information is correct. The number on the right is the maximum number of credits you need to register for. Select your modules, keeping in mind the rules per group of modules and the total credits for the year. The system will generate errors if you break any rule. Select timetables blocks per module chosen. ensuring you do not select the same blocks for modules within the same semester. Check that you have used all your credits that are available to you. When you are satisfied with your selection, click on Save and Continue or Previous to go back one screen or Restart Process to go back to the qualification screen. If you have any credit errors, you will be required to request for approval of your selection. At this point, you can log out and wait for the university to send you an email with the new registration link. Green students with no registration errors will move on automatically. Once request has been approved, or a green student has successfully made subject selections with no errors, you will be directed to a screen whereby you may upload documents.
Some of your documents may be preloaded already. A list of documents will be shown on screen. Browse and upload a PDF file as required. If you have a comment, you may type it here. Once submitted, a notice will pop up saying your request has been submitted and the college will respond to you. This is why it is important to give us the correct email address. You may log out and wait for an email from the college. You will be advised if the document submitted meets requirements or if you need to resend. If you log on to new registration before the email is sent, you will get a notice saying to wait for the email from your college. Once approved, you click on New Registration and you will be shown a summary of the modules you have chosen. If you are still happy, you may click Continue. If you are unhappy with your selection, you can press Restart Process. You will then be presented with a screen showing the costs of your registration. Click on Accept Registration to finalize your registration. Please note that there may be other costs that the Varsity charges over and above this amount. You may restart this process if you are not happy. If you are happy with your selection, you can press Accept Registration. If you have any outstanding holds, an error will pop up. Click on View Error to see what errors there are. For example, if you have a financial clearance error, you will need to contact Finance to clear the hold. You can log out and contact the relevant department. At this point, your selection will be stored on the system and you will be registered automatically once your hold has been cleared. If you have no holds, you will now get a message stating you are now registered. Should you wish, you may print proof of registration or summary of costs and log off. Once the hold has been cleared, you may log on and click New Registration again. You will be taken to the Summary page. Click on Continue. You will be taken to the Registration Cost Estimate page. You will then be able to select Accept Registration. A message will pop up saying you have successfully registered. Click Close. You will then see the modules you have registered for Semester 1 and Semester 2. You are able to print this and keep it for your records. Go back to the left-hand side drop-downs. Click on Statement of Current Registration. You are also able to print this statement. You can log out. You have completed your registration. Well done. We look forward to meeting you in 2021.